Swimming is the act of propelling oneself through water using your limbs. It is a common recreational and competitive activity, and is also a vital survival skill. There are several different styles of swimming, such as freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly. Swimming can be done in a variety of places, including Pools. Swimming pools come in many sizes and can be found at places such as public recreation centers, hotels, and private homes. Lakes, rivers, and oceans. Swimming in natural bodies of water can be a fun and refreshing way to enjoy the outdoors, but it's important to be aware of the conditions and potential hazards. Open Water Swim Events Swimmers participate in open water swim competitions such as triathlons, swim the distance between two points and more. Swim Spas and Hot Tubs Some people also swim in swim spas or hot tubs, which are smaller pools designed for exercise and relaxation. Here are the basic steps for swimming if you are trying to learn how to swim. Start by floating on your back to get comfortable in the water. Turn onto your front, and position your body so that you are lying on your side, with your head facing down. Reach forward with one arm and sweep it back through the water towards your hip, keeping your elbow high. As your arm finishes the sweep, bring your other arm forward to begin the next stroke. Kick your legs in a flutter kick motion to help propel you through the water. Keep your head facing down, with your ears in the water, and take a breath every two strokes or when your face is out of the water. As you advance, you will learn other swimming strokes such as backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly. So what does a person gain if he swims every day? Let's so. 1. Strength and Endurance Swimming can build muscle strength and endurance, particularly in the arms, shoulders, back, and core. 2. Flexibility and Balance The constant movement and stretching involved in swimming can improve flexibility and balance. 3. Low Impact Exercise Swimming is a low impact exercise, making it easy on the joints and suitable for people of all ages and fitness levels, including those with injuries or chronic conditions. 4. Stress Relief Swimming has been shown to have a calming effect on the mind and can help reduce stress and anxiety. 5. Good for overall health Regular swimming can also help improve sleep, boost the immune system and overall well-being. While swimming offers many benefits, there are also some potential disadvantages to consider when you go for swimming. 1. Weather Dependent Swimming is an outdoor activity and is dependent on the weather, which may limit when and where it can be done. 2. Chlorine and other chemicals Swimming in chlorinated pools can cause skin and eye irritation, and can also damage hair and swimwear. 3. Risk of Drowning Swimming requires a certain level of skill, and there is always a risk of drowning for those who are not confident swimmers or who ignore safety guidelines. 4. Risk of Injury Overuse or improper technique can lead to swimming-related injuries such as shoulder or back pain. 5. Risk of Infection Swimming in natural bodies of water can expose swimmers to bacteria, viruses, and other pathogens that can cause infections or illnesses. 6. Expense Access to a pool or other body of water can be expensive, and the cost of swim lessons, equipment, and pool memberships can add up. 7. Risk of Hypothermia Swimming in cold water can lead to hypothermia, a condition in which the body's core temperature drops below normal. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fitness tips, you will gain a lot from it.